Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. Welcome, welcome. Um, We're doing an art auction tonight. And this is a really exciting one. I mean, they're all exciting. But tonight we have some brand new pieces that nobody has ever seen. So I'm gonna go ahead and go get the comments pulled up on my computer. Here are the rules for anyone who is new or who has forgotten them. Nothing wrong with a refresh. And just give me a second. We are live. Cool. <laughs> That's exciting. Since my husband burst through the door. Yeah, he does. Gotta make a big entrance. One more. The purple. Uh, yeah. Okay. Sorry, guys. My computer is moving slow, of course. <sighs> Come on. There we go. Okay. Excellent. I'm here. You're here. We're all here. Everybody say hi as you tune in, please. I hope that people are getting their notifications. I've heard of some people having issues with getting notifications. If that's the case, you might uh, try unsubscribing and then resubscribing or turn off your notifications and turn it back on. See if that works. Hey, Veronica. Okay, so very simple rules here. Each piece starts at a particular top price, of course, as a starting bid. Um, the next bid must beat the previous one. Bidding will last for two minutes per item. Buyer pays shipping, which if you're in the U.S. is going to be basically in between 8 and 15 bucks. If you win multiple items, it's you know, I combine shipping and it's generally able to be pretty cheap. An item must be paid for via PayPal by Friday. Hey, Catherine. Hey, Ramona, Sherry, Levy. So basically, if you win an item, please email me immediately with your shipping address. Even if I already have it from a previous auction, email me anyways. If you win more than one item, you don't have to keep emailing me unless you want to. <laughs> hey, Dina. Hey, Linda. Heather. Donna. Mama Jan. Mona. Hi, y'all. Welcome. All right. I vote. We get started. I wish Tina was here because this first item is probably one that she would love. And did you notice there's a little owl here? No, but that's incredible. <laughs> Man. I know, right? All right. So this one is a 10 by 10 and it is called Pinkerton. So the starting bid on this is 25. And so how I'll do this for anyone that's new, I'll put the piece there and say the starting bid and then I start the timer and then I'll come around and do a close up, okay? Everybody's saying hi to you. Hello. And um, Karen, you are from uh, Curacao, right? Welcome, welcome. Oh, nice. One of my right. favorite places. I know, right? That's what I said. So starting the timer, we can see that good. Does that mean that's what she said? Yeah. Cool. And now I'm going to come around and do the close-up. So starting bids 25, you just throw your bids down in the comments there, in the chat box. So this one is basically white, pink, and gold with a little bit of black hidden in there. And I just noticed this earlier, but it's got a little owl <laughs> in there. Little deformed owl. He's a little confused, but anyways, I love it. Very it shiny. An impressionistic owl. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Very Van Gogh of you. I think he's even missing his left ear. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> All right, so starting bids 25. I mean, that fact just kind of doubled the value of the painting, in my opinion. <laughs> of course. Of course it did. All right. This is where the Jeopardy song plays in my head. Do, 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 do. That's a lot of do, 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 do. Can you, um, also this. Hey Tasha, hey Diana, Prophetess, Daniel, Melanie, Melane. Is it Melanie? I assume. I hope I'm not saying that wrong. 
Cindy, hey Cindy, Tyler. All right, so we've got 28 seconds left on this one. Going once, going twice. I'm surprised Tina's not here. Yeah. Tina's favorite color is pink. <laughs> And Linda, if you're still there, whoop. I have one coming up that you'll probably really like. Well, maybe a few. Okay, so we had no bids on that one. Moving along. Moving along, we got. So next one is a 10 by 20. Oh, yeah. And this is awesome. If I do say so myself. I usually go in kind of a size sequence, but for today, I'm not really doing great on that. All right, 10 by 20. This one's called Robin Hunt. Size, size doesn't matter. Yeah. And um, starting bid is $40. Oh, good. You are here still, Linda. All right, I'm going to start the timer, and then come around for the close-up. This one is super... Exciting because it's so shiny. It's got a bunch of the um, iridescent paints in it, plus unicorn spit. I went and caught a unicorn and made him spit on my painting. Uh, you can tell this is metallic, and the unicorn spit being a stain used with actual acrylic paints creates a depth because it actually kind of sinks below it the actual acrylic paint so anyways I'm a big fan well I'm pretty little but you're about five one I'm not a big fan <laughs> all right so starting bit on that is 40 40 and guys remember Mother's Day is coming up oh yeah you all need gifts for your mothers that's right so, we will also have one giveaway in about the middle of the auction items. Ooh. And there are a 18 pieces in the auction, by the way. Yes, there are. Hey, Antoinette. I feel like you've been here before. <laughs> Art by Casey, you're not too late. This is only the second piece. All of these are numbered, so you can see where we are at. Correct. And then later, too, if you're like, wait, what was the name of the one that I bid on? <laughs> Last chance. All right. Going once, going twice. The paper is right here. <laughs> I think they mean with the Oh, rules. the rules? Yeah. These rules? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. We'll go over real quick for anyone that just tuned in. So it's pretty simple. Um, each piece starts at a base bid price, starting bid. The next one must, of course, be higher than the last one. Bidding lasts for two minutes per item. Buyer pays shipping. And the item must be paid for by Friday. After you win a piece, you just email me your shipping address to info at thepainterandyou.com. And I'll keep that paper visible for most of it. Boom. Tree line. Okay, next one. It's super exciting. <laughs> I feel like I say that about all of them. Yeah, but this time I said it. Okay, true. So this is the next one. And you guys probably saw me embellish this on a recent video. So this one's called Tree Line. It's 11 by 14. And um, starting bid is 45. Yeah, you have been here before, Antoinette. <laughs> um, CJ, if you want to pay through some other way like Venmo or Cash App, that's also fine. Just same thing. You need to email me your shipping address, and then we'll, we'll go from there. All right, so starting timer, and then I'll come around, move the other side. So Heather... It depends on if you are in the U.S. or not. For the U.S., basically everything is 
between about eight and fifteen dollars depending on the item okay so like for this it would be about 13 bucks if you're in the u.s that is if you're international well, that's a different story and if you do win more than one piece the shipping gets combined and it's of course cheaper okay so this one has you can see the gold shimmer shiny. so cj when you pay via paypal you do not have to have a paypal account you would pay with a credit card you check it check out as a guest and it's the same thing as paying with your credit card because i don't take credit card payments directly but you don't need a pay paypal account okay has like a Japanese garden kind of feel to it for some reason to me. Oh yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I actually did a little bit more work on it after the video. But yeah, there we go. Oh, all right, and 45 bucks CJ. Okay, cool. Dope. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that you can just check out on PayPal as a guest. And you don't need a PayPal account even to pay for things via PayPal. <laughs> so, awesome. I think we have CJ on that one. So far, we had six seconds. Okay, cool. Okay, CJ, Phoenix Dragon it is. This is tree line. Yes. And then, um, yeah. So send me your shipping address to info at thepainterandyou.com has to be thepainterandyou.com yes i send out an invoice so once you win an item email me right away with your shipping address and then after the video i send out an invoice okay next piece is oh a vase okay So this was actually my um, St. Patty's Day vase. Oh. Yeah. So it's blue and green. This is a glass vase painted with acrylic and then sealed with resin. About seven inches. And this one has blue, yellow, green, and gold. So I'll still come around for the close-up. But uh, this is called Forest Floor Vase, and starting bid is 15 bucks. And I will tell you, on the vases, you guys, the shipping does come out to be about $14, $15, just due to the size and weight and whatever. So, And I can't combine shipping of vases with a painting, obviously. Anyways, so there you go. Start. And Jan at 20 bucks. <laughs> okay, so we've got Jan in. And it's coming around. Okay, so you can see that gold in there. Obviously, it's very shiny because of the resin. Um, Ken's mom, I will not answer questions about painting during the auction. If you have a question about painting, you could ask me on a, a live where I am doing painting. <laughs> or you can always message me, too, on Facebook or Instagram. I would say Facebook is better because... I'm pretty bad at Instagram. Yeah, I love that gold in there too. That mm -hmm. totally like makes it for the St. Patty's Day for me. <laughs> All right. So we've got Renee at 21, Jan at 22. 22. Little bidding war going. We've got about a minute left. Um, the paintings, none of the paintings, unless they're a resin painting in this auction, have resin on them. I will always say if they have resin on them. All the vases do have resin though. And that is so that they're very durable and you can wash them and everything, but not the paintings. All right, we got Renee at 25. Thanks, Christine. Glad you liked it. <laughs> Denitra at 626. Uh oh, 
Carrie 27, Jan and that 30. <laughs> Getting heated. Jan says she's Irish. <laughs> Irish, eh? Ah, oh, then this is the best for you. Yeah. I don't even know what accent that was. Don't probably either. nothing. It's probably nothing. Don't even. <laughs> I can't even do like any accent. <laughs> and it's Brenda Carter at 32. Yep, we got Brenda at 32. Now this does bring up a pretty important point, you guys. Sometimes we do have, the, the people have delays on their computers and phones and stuff. So sometimes when there's a bidding war and it gets down to the last second, um, we have to call the one we see before the timer goes up. And I always have a moderator or two verify that before we get the final one, okay? So just please, please, please do me a favor and nobody get upset. If you didn't get it at the last second, it happens. Okay, is that the next one? It is. Ooh. I'm excited about this one. I thought we said that about the last one. Well, yeah, but I'm excited about this one for a different reason. <laughs> okay, so this one I showed in a video yesterday. I did the video of the background and then I added to it off camera, you know, just to keep you guys on your game. Sneaky, sneaky. So this one is suspension. It's on 11, 14, 11 by 14 canvas. Starting bid on this one is 45. And guys, we do have two more vases just to let you know. All right, I'm starting the timer. And then we'll do our close-up. And I'm with you, Jesse. Purple's all day long. I think we have a couple purple things coming up. Yes, definitely. I'm a huge purple fan. All right, so Again, starting bin 45. <laughs> Thanks, babe. And this. Antoinette 45. So this originally had a ball on it. I ended up removing the ball, and then I basically painted a planet on it. Well, a planet or a sphere, either way, I guess. Kind of looks like the antimatter particle and, I know, right? and, and that angels thought. and demons. I almost suggested calling it anti -matter. Yeah. So this can be hung any direction, depending on if you're in a light mood or maybe a dark mood. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. A nebula, I, there you go. I feel like I like it in this direction. So, all right. We have Antoinette, I think. Antoinette, I like that your first name rhymes with your last name. <laughs> Antoinette Bennett? Yeah. That just sounds cool. It is 3D. Yeah. And this was done with the Artist Loft Ready Mix pouring paint, which is really awesome for certain things like this. Okay. Do, 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 do. Oh. Don't forget Mother's Day, you guys. Yeah. Get your mama something pretty. She's talking about your mama. And support local artists. There's and that too. Small businesses. Yep. What? Your video. The Corona video. Okay. Also, for those of you who don't know. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Tony. Um, my husband has a YouTube channel. One second. I'll get back to that thought in a second. No problem. It looks like Antoinette Bennett at 45. Okay, good. Prophetess Fry, I totally understand. I have lost my mom as well. More than once. Mm, yeah, right? Um, okay, so just for anyone just tuning in, if you win an item, you email me right away, info at thepainterinyou.com with your shipping address. Shipping averages, um, let's say about 10, 10 to $13, basically. But if you win more than one item, I can combine shipping. And so I, after the auction, I get you a shipping quote and I'll send you an invoice and there you go. Okay, next piece is called Fat Lip because my husband has a weird sense of humor. I 
You just didn't know what else to call it. <laughs> this is an 8 by 10 This was an acrylic pour through a um, cheese grater. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> That's fun! So the starting bid is 15 bucks. And um, shipping on this little guy is only like eight bucks. So cheapest possible, starting the timer, Oops. and then we'll do the close up. Looks like random ghost faces kind of popping out of the woodwork. Right? I friggin' Ooh, love this one. Period. It also, like, it ended up looking like it had a bunch of roses over here. Yes. Okay. So, yes. Veronica just put the link to your channel. Um, Veronica, can you grab. Um, the link to Bittersweet Quarantine. <laughs> so my husband just put out a hilarious quarantine parody, Bittersweet Quarantine, instead of Bittersweet Symphony. With an MMG cameo. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, drama is funny. That cheese grater did die. But that's okay, because we bought it for this purpose at the dollar store, so I didn't really feel bad about it. I can definitely reuse it, too. Okay. But not for grating cheese. Not for cheese. Nope. All right. We have Mindy at 18, yeah. I think. Yep. Yeah. You got to go check out the Bittersweet Quarantine. And if you didn't see it too, the original video that he did, the original parody one, was uh, Welcome to Corona, a uh, play on Welcome uh, to the Jungle. And that one, I mean, I'm it's personally my favorite. <laughs> uh, I, I don't disagree. <laughs> and I also have a cameo in that one. Like many other things, it's always tough to beat the original. Sequels are never as good. Well, not usually. I think you beat the original. <laughs> okay. Fine. All right. We've got about 30 seconds left on this one. I think the current bit is at 18. So going once, going twice. 25 times. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. And this also hasn't been sealed yet, by the way. So once it's sealed, it will actually pop a little bit more as well. <laughs> okay. Good. That's Mindy at. I think it was 18. Uh, Mindy Janowski yeah. at 18. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Corona. Time to sanitize. <laughs> oh my gosh, Antoinette, I would not be surprised. What's that? She said, have you seen the girl from Florida that thought the virus was because of drinking Corona beer? Oh, yeah. Pretty know. sure that's the antidote. Yeah, right? We can hope. But anyways, okay, what's next? Funky monkey. Oh, okay. This is another 10 by 20. <laughs> yeah, common sense isn't common anymore. Right. So if the beer causes the virus, then the, the lime cures it or what? I don't know. So this one is Funky Monkey, 10 by 20. And starting bit is 40 on well, this one. Good. I'll start the timer and then do the close up. Well, this is so much easier with you over there, and I don't have to go back and forth. I know, right? <laughs> like, it's like an that is your course in here. Is mine. You don't come into mine, I don't come into no. So this one has all kinds of those iridescent paints in it as well. As well. So very, like, metallic and shiny. You need a button that's just, ooh, shiny, whenever <laughs> you hit it. Ooh, shiny. Hey, James. Welcome. And this one's, yeah, definitely wild and crazy. It's a funky monkey. Veronica, I did this one with my niece, I believe, Ashley. So if there's a recent video called Acrylic Pouring with My Niece or something, I don't know. I can find it later. But it was a pretty recent one within the last couple weeks. Because mm -hmm. she doesn't like to hang out at her house. She hangs out at mine. My husband named it. So, if why it's you, a bad name, blame why him. Why do you say that with such a distinct <laughs> tone? I don't get it. My names are genius. All right, we got Art by Casey, 40. <laughs> yeah, if you don't like the name, he did it. Blame if you me. love the name, I did it. <laughs> right? That's how it goes. <laughs> okay, what number is this, by the way? Oh, it's it was, right there. It's right Seven. in front of you. I know. You know what? Shh. This, yeah. Okay. Hey, 
Tammy. Getting down to the wire. Hey, I'm just Jazzy. Welcome. Hope you enjoyed the paint night yesterday. I'm just country myself. Yeah. I'm just rock. Not later though. I miss my band. All right. Boop. Okay, we had art by Casey at forty. Art by Casey. Okay, good. Please do not forget to email me, y'all. Next, we have this guy. This guy. Okay, this one is from a while ago. And honestly, I'm trying to remember. I feel like this was a pumpkin. Oh, I'm pretty sure man. this was the pumpkin pour. Oh, cool. So there's 18 total. Um, and we're on number eight. So this is very like fall colors, not my usual color scheme. And I'm 99% sure that this was the pumpkin pour. Don't quote me on that though, because if I'm wrong, it was either that or a vase, but I'm 99% sure it was a pumpkin. Okay, and it's a 12 by 12 canvas. Starting of it is 25, so starting the timer. And we have confirmation that that was the pumpkin. Oh good, yeah, it was 99% sure. So Tonya, it's a bid, it's like an auction. So each item we do bidding for two minutes and whoever's the highest bidder at the end of that two minutes wins. So this is a, um, it actually ironically had brown in it, but because it had um, green and black and yellow and orange and pink. I actually don't even think it had green. I don't know. Somehow those all equal brown. Well, yeah. And then yellow and black definitely equal green as well. Learn that the hard way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I love it. It's a little $25 holiday to be yours. Mm -hmm. Or your mother's. <laughs> She's talking about your mama. I know, right? So I will tell you guys, the ones that I'm most excited about always go at the end. <laughs> That's not to say don't bid on one of these earlier ones, but you definitely, definitely want to stay until the end. Yeah, there's some pretty epic stuff coming down. And also, the after the next one, we'll do the quick giveaway, okay? Yeah. Awesome. Thank you, CJ. So 19 seconds going once, going twice, only... $25 starting bid on this one. Mm -hmm. Five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year. Okay. Alrighty. Don't think we had any bids on that one. Right. Yes, guys, please do not forget to go thumbs up. You may have to shortly exit out of the chat to do so. Okay, what we got next? Uh, we have a Voss. Oh, good. My favorite of the free vases. <laughs> All right, this is a Mardi Gras vase. Although it doesn't have any gold in it. Yeah, but you don't have to have gold. I mean, purple you and have green to. and blue. Absolutely have to. Okay, just sure, kidding. Sure. All right, so this one is the Mardi Gras vase. Same thing, starting bid 15. And this is also um acrylic pour on glass sealed with resin so i'll do start the timer mm -hmm. and then we'll do a bit more of a close-up okay to 15. i always love the bottom even though you're of course never going to really see the bottom curious yeah i know right Bottom of that one is pretty cool. I These love these lines. So exciting. Okay. I think this is my favorite part. <laughs> All right. So. Twenty-two. Uh, my my phone is somehow slower than the computer. How is that even possible? 
I know, right? That's, Maybe your phone's getting Because this up. is live. But the, the phone's doing the live. <laughs> okay. Anyways, Diana at 25? Yep. Maybe it's just the comments are slower. Yeah, like the pop up, I don't know. <laughs> Terrell twenty six. Okay. I have a little bit of a bidding war there. So Stamperka thirty. Oh, oh what? Oh, oh yeah, Stamperka. I didn't even see that one. Diana Hilton thirty one. Getting exciting in here. Mm hmm. The heat is on. And I'll put this here again. So once you win, just email me right away with your shipping address. And if someone does not claim their prize, it does go to the next highest bidder, but well, I'll try to contact you if I can. But generally that doesn't happen, so. Martin at 32, going once, going twice. Carol Martin at 32 it is. Okay. Okay, good. Carol Martin at 32. Mm -hmm. Now it's giveaway time, I believe, right? Yeah. What are we giving away? Good question, Aguado. Okay, I think. Um, Veronica, can you just do me? Okay, good. So Veronica saw the same thing. I just wanted to make sure because there was a... It was still moving around over here a little bit. Okay, Carol at 32. All right, so now we have a giveaway. So I'm going to pick a number. I'm gonna come around to the computer for this though. Okay. Now this has definitely caused upsets before <laughs> also. So the numbers are gonna be shooting at me very rapidly. Thank you so much, Barbie. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Um. Because this is a this is a free giveaway, so you don't have to pay for shipping or anything. Okay, um, the numbers are gonna be coming at me very rapidly, but basically you guys are gonna pick a number, and the first person to guess the number that is in my head wins, and I will double and triple check it to make sure that person was the first person to say that number, etc. Don't guess a number yet. Yeah, we haven't started. You cheater. Oh my gosh. Okay, Cheater, hold on. Eater. Yep. If you already started, then we're not going to, none of those are going to be right. <laughs> okay. okay. Showing my associate the number. So associate. pick a number between one and a hundred. And this is what we're giving away. So you can go start now. Start. And sorry. Not 37. It's not that. I wish it was. Oh, really oh, I think I just saw it, but you I did? couldn't see who it was yet. Okay, hold on. <laughs> ah! See, it goes really fast. Are you sure? Right there. Okay, yep. oh my gosh, how funny. She's won a giveaway before. Mama Jan, the number was 44. <laughs> so, guys, I know there's a little delay, but Mama Jan was the winner with 44. Okay. Congratulations, Mama Jan. <laughs> oh my gosh. Those numbers, they go insane. Oh, it's nuts. Yeah. And you have to watch super close. Yeah, that was really impressive. Yeah, there was definitely close. Some people had 45 and stuff. So cool. I'm going to, I do want to come around and do a quick close up though. Um, Mama Jan, just send it to me again, anyways, because that makes my life much easier than trying to find it again. So once again, email me. Yeah, but weren't you just talking the other day about how your life wasn't challenging enough? Uh, yeah, absolutely. No, it wasn't 26 and a half. I'm sorry. This is friggin' gorgeous, if I do say so myself. And perfect Mother's Day gift. So, yeah. <laughs> Congrats. All right. I wish I had a million more giveaways. But I don't. <laughs> okay, next auction item. So we've got, I think, nine more to go? Yeah. Yes. 10, 11, 12, 13, yeah. 14. Okay. <laughs> so. Good thing you got 10 fingers. Yeah, but, but one hand was busy holding the canvas. Uh, 
All right, so this one's called Healing Wave. It is 12 by 12, and you might recognize this as the recent black hole pour. So it's uh, starting bit is 25. I'll start the timer. And anyone guessing numbers after this point will be considered a bid. A bid. Unless so, it's below $25. So don't be throwing out random numbers anymore. <laughs> uh, Brenda, 33, is that a bit or is that a numbered yes? Just checking. All right. So starting bid is 25. Brenda this... Carter, just double checking. Is that 33 a bid or a numbered yes? <laughs> this always happens. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because some people have some, like, major delays. What do you mean next time he gets a letter? And there's only 26 I letters. I know. Unless we want to include, like, other language letters or something. Guess your favorite Star Wars character from the entire series. There's got to be at least, like, 200 of those. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> so I'm thinking that 30. Okay, Becky at 25. Yeah, I'm thinking that's the real one. Okay. Thank you, um, for Ken's Your mom, yes, I will definitely be doing another black hole painting coming up. But where's Stacy's mom? <laughs> I don't know, but she's got it going What's that on. She's got it going on. <laughs> uh, we should just have a comedy duo. Why not? Giveaway at the end. That's true. That is a really, really good idea. There I don't know go. why I haven't thought of that. Mm. You're so smart. You're hired. Yeah, right. Whoever suggested that. Uh, that was Wizard Master. Uh -huh, and he is a Wizard Master. I guess that makes sense. I know, he, right? He had the brilliant idea. So smart. <laughs> I think I think I was, I don't know, I usually do more than one giveaway, I think. So I usually kind of scatter them throughout. But yeah, that's really smart. That's Doing right. it at the end. Okay, so I don't. Uh, we have one bid on this one. 25. Yeah, Becky did 25. Okay. And yeah, Becky be at 25. Okay, good. Congrats, Becky. Oh, steal. <laughs> All right. Next. Here's another painting. Oh, weird. I know, isn't it? Is this one back here? Uh -huh. This one goes like that. Okay. This one needs some slight cleaning up around the edges still. Mm -hmm. Sorry, guys. All right. This is another 12 by 12. This one's called the palm of my hand. And this was the recent wreck a ring pour with the word love. <laughs> Sarah, you're welcome. And I don't think my husband even knew that. I'm sorry. Say that again. I was looking at a comment that made me laugh. This was a wreck -a ring pour with the word love. Oh. So I did a ring and then I wrote the word love in it and wrecked it with that. And this was the direction it went in the video as well. Oh, no kidding. Yep. Okay. So Sweet. starting the timer, we have Jennifer at 25 already. Yeah, we do. Good call. <laughs> Sorry about that, Sarah. <laughs> I'm not. Good song. You're welcome. Stacy's mom has got it going on. Stacy, can't you see? You're just not the girl for me. Well, not we could change it to eight six seven five three zero oh, nine. Jenny, Jenny, I got your <laughs> number. Okay. Anyways, the more you guys bid, the less we sing. Is that good? No. Yeah. Maybe that's the opposite effect. Maybe they want us to sing more. Yes. I almost forgot the close-up. Okay, so this one is reds, blues, and of course, um, gold. Sarah, I have you beaten that in that I don't know that song. You <laughs> so it doesn't work on me. Apparently, I'm one of the only human beings oh, that doesn't know that song either. I don't know, know what you're it. talking about. Okay. So the email is info at thepainterinyou.com. You need to make sure you put the.
<laughs> okay. So we have, I think, one bit at 25 on this one, right? Yes, Jennifer Edwards. Okay, good. No, I kind of want to see this baby shark song. I'm curious. Nope. Disapproved. Is it da, da, metal da, 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 planting da, 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 da. No. No, I have no idea what that is. The Jaws scene, but if it were sung by a baby shark. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Oh, so many things. Don't have that kind of time. <laughs> Jennifer Edwards, 25 bucks. Okay, Jennifer. Good job. Next, we have... This guy. Centipede. Centipede skin. Whatever, dude. Well... Alright. So this is an 11 by 14. Centipede skin. Darn <laughs> and this one um, was the uh, first, oh my gosh, deli basket ah, pour that right. I did. Yeah. So starting the timer, and then we'll do our close up. And starting bid on this is 35, you guys. We got a bid. Randy Stressel. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sure I'm missing some questions. I'm doing my best. Okay, Antoinette said, I'm going to try stepping stones for my backyard. Any hints or tips? What kind of stones? I'm just curious. Are they terracotta or like cement or rocks? Or because I think that kind of matters, I guess. Stem perka at 40. Cool hammer, by the way. My um Okay, so this is greens, blues, and purple. Yeah, dragon scales. Totally. This one's called centipede skin, but dragon works as well. We have a couple bids already. That's not like a puppy. When you take it back to your house, you can call it what you want, you know? Okay. So Antoinette, concrete's pretty porous. Um, I feel like you could probably pour directly on it, but it also wouldn't hurt to prime it first. And then you just got to seal it really well. I would just put um, a few layers probably of like, um, I've been using for outside products, uh, the Rust-Oleum UV oh, engine enamel, the engine enamel, because that's designed to be sprayed on a car. So it's got a lot of heat resistance and it's designed to be outside. So it's got the UV protection as well. Mm -hmm. I think that's probably the best to seal it with. When I've been, I used that on my last terracotta pot and um, yeah, I think that should be fine. You can also just try one and then see how it lasts. So, all right, 12 seconds, going once, going twice. Still got Stamperka at 40. Stamperka at 40. Thank well, you, Danielle. We got Danielle. a buffer happening here, that's not cool. But that's just the computer, it's not over yes, there. Yes, it is. Okay. There we go, Stamperka at 40, right? Stamperka at 40. So please email me, info at thepainterinyou.com with your shipping address. And I'll get you out the invoice right after the video. And okay, next is a vase. Yay. Okay, this is the last vase of the night. So this one is called Peach Pie Vase. And once again, acrylic pour on glass sealed with resin. So this one looks like um, wood. It's awesome. Okay, starting the timer. And then I'll do more of a close-up. And starting bid's 15. I already said that, but anyways. And we got CJ Phoenix Dragon at 15. So pretty. It is really pretty. I just... Man, I mean, the whole thing is awesome, but especially this side. <laughs> yeah. You made it 20. Just the way the lines came out. Gorgeous. Yeah, looks like wood grain to me. Now I want a peach pie. CJ25, you're welcome. <laughs> I'm sure we could figure one out. Yay. Thank you. Don't forget Mother's Day is coming up. 
Yes. Mother's Vases day. make beautiful Mother's Day gifts. Yes, especially when you put flowers in them. They really like that. Mm -hmm. Lisa Carrie at 26. Oh, my Jim Malini man. At 30. Jan at 30. We have a question as to whether the inside is painted. Negative. If the inside was painted um, when you put the water in to put the flowers, it would just soak the paint off. But of course, it's glass, so it's see-through. You can definitely see paint on the inside. Um, and it's... fairly opaque. A little bit of light comes through. Um, did you use the tumble turner or pour? This one, just a regular pour. I've only done one vase so far with the tumble, the tumbler <laughs> turner, rotator. Um, and that was just a few days ago. That one was awesome. Okay, I think we have eight, seven, six. You got outbid? Uh, oh, CJ at 35. Dragon, yeah. Yep. All right. She's a Phoenix. Sorry, and a dragon. girl. Okay. All right. So beauty. Next. Mm -hmm. yes. Ooh. Okay, good. Is this one? So we're on number 14, right? 14, 15, 16, five more? Okay. Yes. So this one you guys have not seen. <laughs> So this is a 12 by 12. It's called Melting Sky. Starting bit is 45. I'll start the timer and then I'll close up and I'll tell you all about it. So this, the background was done actually on a recent home talk video. And then it was embellished. Oh wow, Lily well, Vefe bid 45. Yay! That's cool. Yeah guys, get all your mats from Lowly Vefe. They have the best. This mat under here is Loli Vefe. All the cups that I use, my silicone bowls are Loli Vefe, and they are amazing. And their names is cool. Yeah. Why wouldn't you buy them? Exactly. But those, since I got those silicone bowls, oh my gosh, I've saved, A, saved so much money. B, I feel so much better now that I'm not throwing away plastic cups. I mean, I would reuse them as much as I could. But anyways, Ooh, ghost orb, yes. get your, oh, plus all my bottles now are the lowly Vefe bottles, everything, Fair lowly right. Vefe, everything. By They're way, amazing. By the way, we got a charming giraffe at 50. Okay. <laughs> Going head to head with the lowly Vefe crew. And it stands for love life, in case people didn't know that. <laughs> okay. Um, Brenda, you might need to refresh. Can yeah. you type? In there, Brenda, you need to refresh. Yeah. Because she's a bit behind. Oh. Yeah, if people have a delay, they may not see the most recent comments. <laughs> Ploways Brenda, redress. redress. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Danielle. Not to make fun of you, but that was amazing. <laughs> We're laughing with you, not at you. Well, you know, yeah. <laughs> I appreciate all the help. Always. Okay. Goodness. Um, oh. Helen, you can talk to Lowly Vefe about that directly, but I'm pretty sure they shipped to the UK. So, um, anyways, we had Charming Drop, right? Yeah, CG at 50. Yeah, yeah. Love it. The C and the G. Okay. Now it's oh yeah, taxes. Uber, Uber fun time. Woohoo! Okay. It's doing it time if you do not have a gift for your Mother's Day, I have the for perfect one here. It's or for yourself, of course. But it's a painting and flowers. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this one's called Tulip Time. Starting bit is forty. Forty. And it's a ten by ten. Starting the timer. Um, Lowly Vefe, I'm so sorry, but Charming Draft got that one. <laughs> All right, starting bits 40. So, 
perfect gift for your mothers. Yes, flowers and a painting in one. And these flowers don't die. I know, right? I was inspired today because my husband brought me home some purple tulips. It's true. So there we go. I had this perfect background just waiting and I was like, what am I going to put on it? And it all came together. Dude, those tulips really do tie the painting together, man. They do, yeah. And see the Phoenix Dragon at 40. Getting all up on the purple. Mm -hmm. I dig it. And this one is already sealed, so that's why it's all shiny. It's kind of hard to... You need the shiny button. Ooh, shiny. <laughs> Ooh, shiny. Yeah. Love it. All right, so we have CJ at 40. CJ Phoenix Dragon. And then, so 15, so we only have three more, right? One, two, three, yep. Two more paintings and then surprise. something, a surprise. All right, Ooh. pigs and tips at 50. 50. Wow, that is quite the handle. I like it. I like it too. And Pig, could... Pigs and tips, do you have a YouTube channel that is associated with that name? If so, I will definitely check it out after this video. Yes, I'm intrigued. Yeah, <laughs> and I will it. subscribe. Don't hate subscription. Exactly. <laughs> okay, about 20 seconds left on this one. Oh, nope, never mind. Okay, back to CJ <laughs> at 40. Nope, CJ at 50. I'm so confused. Yeah, me too. <laughs> okay. So, I guess technically we said we're going to CJ then bid 51, but then we had 42 from Tracy, which if we were using CJ's original bid 42, it... uh, can we just redo this one? Okay. We're, I'm going to put another 20 seconds on the clock because that was just a little confusing. Yeah. Sorry. So, the latest bid then would be 42, right? Unless, CJ, you want to stick with your 51. But uh, latest bid would be 42. So. Going once, going twice. Okay, so CJ, 51. Cool. Okay, cool. All right, so <laughs> CJ. Sorry, that was a little confusing. Okay, congrats, CJ. That was yours. So I'll definitely give you um, an excellent rate on the shipping. Thank you, Pigs and Tips. That's such a great name. <laughs> okay, next one I am so excited about. Um, I got real creative with this one. And bonus points to anyone who recognizes the background. Because I will be really impressed. I, of course, know what it is, but... This one's called Beach Spy. Linda Plummer, are you still here? Because this is the one I made thinking of you. <laughs> Anyways. Hey, Judy. And, oh, Judy's here? Yeah. Yay. It is 11 by 14. Here we go. Yay. Starting timer. Whoops. Yep. Okay, good. When did you? Um, so, does anyone recognize this background? I would be amazed if you do. So, if you don't, it's okay. But so, if you do, you're really amazing. I know, right? This is my, like, through the lens. Okay? I don't know about you guys, but I definitely wish I was at the beach right now. Yeah. We had Stan Perk at 50, by the way. Okay, Stan Perk at 50. Nope. <laughs> you did this one with the plate. It was a painting thing. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, I mean the the paint the video that I did this background in. It was a very very messy painting, a very messy video. I'll give you a hint. Oh. The paint went flying in the video in the beginning. Sorry, no jewelry this time, Carrie. Nope, not a paint night painting. Although, 
similar palm tree as one of the Pink Nines one. Yep, Barbie got it. It was the balloon. <laughs> this was the balloon one. That was a total disaster. But so much fun. <laughs> There is no sand. It's just beach. These are rocks. It's a cliff jump beach. <laughs> All right, so we have San Perk at 50. Okay. So we've got about 14 seconds left, guys. Current bid is 50. Going once, going twice. Nope, Linda Plummer, 53. Waiting for the last minute, you sneaky little. <laughs> It was actually tricky. I didn't drop the balloons from a ladder, but I was under a ladder in the video. I just popped it. Yeah, Linda Plummer, 53. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I love this. Okay, Linda, yay! And Linda, also, um, your cups are really, really close to be dying, done, so I should be able to ship those out next week, too. Okay, we now have a big one. And this is a resin painting. Oops. Do we have a tag up here? Yeah. Uh -oh. Somewhere. Not in here. Um. Oh, okay, hold on. Oh, I think this is it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. So this one is actually from quite a while ago. This is a 20 by 20 resin. It's going to be hard to get it all in there, but can you move that one? Yes. This one's called Marble Lady. Starting bid is 75. Going to start the timer. Shipping on this would be a little more expensive, but still probably less than 20 bucks. Still probably around 15, I'm thinking. We got Stan Perk at 80. Okay, good. So, oh. I love this painting. I'm not even sure. Like, I'm gonna some... actually move the camera back just a little. Yeah. So ring, close your eyes, just to try to get the full thing in there. You mean the full effect? Nope, that did not work at all. No. <laughs> okay. Anyways, gorgeous, gorgeous piece. If I do say so myself. And that's resin, correct? Yep. Resin. Yeah. All right, so we got Stamperka at 80. 80. Gonna move this a little bit more. So this was painted with resin. Oh, let me get the timer in here. Ah, Becky can see the lady. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> I know is gonna have like the most styling house on the block with all this. I know, know. right? Um, resin does make it a little bit heavier, but not super heavy. If you put like 10 layers of resin on it, yes, absolutely, but not much. Aw, thank you, Heather Smith. You're awesome, too. Okay. So 11, 10, 9, 8. <laughs> Unless you're watching a computer screen. Oh, am I behind there? You're ahead. Well, yeah, I know. Okay. Five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. Perka. Okay, good. <laughs> All right. And we have one more auction item. It's not a painting, but it is very exciting. Is it a vase? No. Is it jewelry? Shush your bowl. Okay. This guy. He's awesome. He's really <laughs> All right, so I'm calling this a pouring kit. I don't really know what to call it. But what it is, is a set of my split cups. So both sizes, the 8 ounce and the 16 ounce. Plus, doo -doo -doo, and move those back. Eat, sleep, paint repeat apron okay plus da, 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 it gets better 
a signed copy of the paint pouring workshop. Okay? So, I'm pretty excited about this. I don't know about you guys, but... This is the equivalent of extreme stokedness. Right? <laughs> All right, so starting bit is 45. I'm going to start the timer. We already um, have a bit of 50 from CJ. Okay, good. I'm going to fold up the apron again. Darn, darn. You could also call this like the ultimate fan package. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, who here has read my book already? Janet, 55. Because it is, I'm very proud of it. Well, thanks, Mama Jan. CJ at 60. Um, Judy, let's talk later. I may be able to acquire some for you. <laughs> it's a long story that I definitely need to tell you anyways. So if you have already read my book, it also makes a really great gift. Once again, Mother's Day is coming up. <laughs> and the book can also be a hat. <laughs> yeah, if you guys look down in the description, actually it's the first thing in the description, it has the link to my book. You can get it um, on Amazon or at Barnes & Noble. Of course, the bookstores are closed right now. But, yeah. Yeah, Martin, it's 66 currently. It includes, like, everything you could possibly need to know to start pouring, including all the basics. It has color theory. It goes over um, different recipes for paint mixing. It has 20, I think I said 20 techniques already. Um, it has a troubleshooting section. It has a glossary. And it has ridiculous amounts of pictures. Let's take so each technique has all the pictures of every step. So it goes really into detail. I love it. CJ at 81 looks like. Whoop. Three, two, one. Yes, there CJ is a Kindle version, but it's not nearly as exciting, I will just say. Because you need to actually like have the pictures there. That's just me though. But yes, there's a Kindle version. <laughs> All right, CJ at 81. Yes, Congrats. Okay, so that is the end of our auction for tonight. Once again, those who won, please, please, please email me with your shipping address. Info at thepainterinyou.com. And I will get you out an invoice tonight. And then, um, yeah, I will see you guys for the next live. Um, for those who have been doing the paint nights with me, do Tuesdays or Thursdays work better for you? Or you don't care because you're just at home anyways. <laughs> and then also, don't forget to check out my husband's channel and like it. <laughs> hey, bitter, Katie. Bittersweet Quarantine video just came out. Yeah, Bittersweet Quarantine. Um, okay. Carol, I am very sorry, but it looks like your bid came in after it started. I mean, after it, the timer went off. Either day works fine. Um, okay, Charming Giraffe, can you verify on the timer? Just verify. And also Judy. Okay, Judy is verified CJ. Carol, sometimes there is a bit of a delay on um, the various devices. So we have to go based off of what is on the device here. I'm looking at it live time on the streaming device. Um, so I'm very sorry about that. Okay, so next paint night will probably be Tuesday. I think that day works better for me than Thursday anyways. So, and if you are interested in one that didn't sell tonight, then go ahead and you can email me about that later as well. <laughs> All right, you guys have a very great night. Lowly Vefe, I'm not sure on when the next auction is. I generally do about one, one a month. 
So in about three to four weeks. Okay, bye guys. Bye. Good night.